hide. If we flee, we flee right into him. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Maya. Thanks for stopping by. As you can see behind me, we are going to be playing some Hidden Agenda today. So I did think about playing the other Supermassive games, but all the other ones are on PSVR. And one, I don't own PSVR. Two, VR kind of gives me some motion sickness, so we're going to pass. As cool as some of them looked, we're going to pass. But that being said, uh, if you like this, you like this. If you don't, you don't. But either way, we're going to hop right into this. So first things first, we're going to go to the... We want top row. We're going to do... We're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. There we go. Perfect. And we're just going to hop right into this. So new game. Story mode. Yeah, the uh, existing game is really just, I hopped into this to make sure everything was working right. So, yes, I want to continue. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. Yes. So, from what I remember about this game, it should, it should, it's a fairly short one. I think it's only like maybe two-ish hours long. Ripple effect. Now. The spreading consequences of a single event or action. So we're gonna, this will probably just be a super long episode. I don't expect you guys to sit through all of it in one sitting. Um, every choice you make changes the future. If you do, I applaud you. But yeah. And then some affect relationships between characters. Um, I was going to say something else and my brain blinked. Others make waves that change everything. This is a really pretty backdrop. Choose wisely. I don't know if you've seen me, but I ain't that wise. Uh, some bugs. A rat trap. Cigarette. Mmm, we're hopping right into this. Nice. Very nice. I kind of love this stop motion effect they got going on. What was I saying though? Two hours. My brain's just blank. Very blank. Dogs in the vicinity of 535 Meeker, 1031, possible hostage situation. Extreme caution advised. Suspect description matches the trapper. They got a club going on in there? You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook college. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Um, we're gonna be cautious. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Split up. I'll take the door around back. When does mine? Stealth mode. See you later. Stealth mode. <laughs> that works, right? Use your pointer Tripwire. to hit the target before the timer runs out. Okay. You gonna let me do it? Hmm. 
Hmm, does not sound good. Uh, we're gonna find our partner, I think. Me think. Oh. We've already almost set up a tripwire, so, like, something tells me we probably need our, probably want our partner for this. Is happening here. Hands up, hands up now. To shoot, move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. I if I don't have to shoot, maybe we don't shoot. No sudden moves. No shoot. We're not gonna shoot, it's fine. I will shoot. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Um... We're gonna say calming? Hey. Hey, hey. Easy. Easy now. Let's just take this nice and slow. Ending. Not worth it. It's over. Yeah? He listened? He listened! <laughs> so when are you gonna grab the hostage? <laughs> The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on this story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn. You have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. I mean, that makes sense. It, it, it does make sense. You know, with him being, him being, going to court for, you know, apparently serial, mur serial murder. But I guess it just depends on when this Tap took place. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. Okay. Um... I am Ray Weaver, and we're not, not going to look at him. You're not going to see him anyways, because I'm not... Or I don't... The trapper. I'm not been on death row technically a technological years. enough Mr. to uh, record my phone screen to left on add to this. Marble, so I thought, hey, did I've tried. It didn't work. <laughs> Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? 
turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. How do they get that information? How do they get the information that she's mishandling evidence and the like? I feel like it, I feel like that'd be internal affairs and like that'd be a that'd be a very closed investigation. That's not something they'd be talking about to the public yet. Unless they were like ready to fire her. Morning everyone. Got another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marnie the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Is that Jason? Is that Jason Kolchak? Is that my man, Jason? Speaking of, is that Eric King? And isn't that the Ignore slave dude that was killed at the beginning Probably. of Everyone House of Ashes? Everyone reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? Forgive me if he wasn't actually a slave, but like he was a sacrifice, right? He, he was going to be a sacrifice? Uh, we're going to be anxious. No. No, not really. She has some pretty I eyes. I feel like it's some big cosmic joke that Dick has my future in his sweaty little hands. I know it feels like that, but they got nothing. So just lay low, keep a wide berth of cavalry, and it'll blow over. Yeah. Be restrained. Yeah, thanks. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Detective Marnie, we have a word in my office. Seriously, is that, J is that Jason? Is that Jason? Look, Marnie. I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but Is he? if it starts affecting my best detective. I'm sorry, sir. Nick, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. She Thank got you the longest eyelashes. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. Mm, I want to believe that, but I know the trap is set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row? I don't want you to be distracted. Uh, troubled. Finn's execution can't come soon enough. A whole lot of folks agree. I know I do. I'm going to guess none of those folks are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Hmm? The fact that he's still breathing... Keeps me up at night. You not yet. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? He'd be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? Um, we're gonna be cynical. If he's actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. Call you after? Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Pepper spray. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. You gotta call me a truther. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Uh-huh. Was it Adam Jones? Do you believe Adam Jones is the one responsible for these murders? Oh, I don't believe it. I know it. Who is he? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. And he killed those people. Uh, keep curious. 
I'm listening. He has to have some. But you have to, has to have some truth on. to what he's saying. Adam and I won't. We've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Um... Sure. You sure you want to trust me with that? They say the pen is mightier than the sword. Cute. Um, my memory ain't what it used to be. I think I'd have to get back out there, get my feet on the ground, pick up the scent. We'll be curious. He's, so he's let's had a lot of belief in what he's saying. The truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. Down. We could go together. Check it out. Oh, you gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going nowhere. I never should have trusted him. Adam Jones should be in here, not me. Uh, we'll be reassuring. If this is all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar, okay? I will look into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. Did you get your pen back? You know, just asking for a friend. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana? It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Um, we'll be supportive. Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? What? Are you buying his story? Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go with Curious, because, like, the in my mind, it's adding up. certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? We will be optimistic. 
I'm I'm not sure what this. He doesn't want to die. I know it's out there, and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Charlie Lonnet of Lonnet Entertainment. Um, we're gonna be confident. I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not going to believe this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm going to head over to Homicide and let him Don't know. Don't call me that. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage, for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. Uh... Strange. I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that, I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? Uh, we're gonna be optimistic. I think... I think there's something there. Judge thinks so, too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, well, that I have was to. I have to take this five years quick. ago. I would... Hold on, I'm... hold on, hold on. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm fucking freezing. It's sixty nine degrees in this place. <sighs> All right, but I got the job, so <laughs> I'm happy. That's all I have to say about that right now. But we're just gonna continue on, though. I think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn. I do recall only, you know, uh, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker. And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Uh, be restrained. Be I professional. I from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. Hold on. Hold on. Dogs are barking at something. I know. I keep pausing. I keep pausing. I keep pausing. I'll be back. Problem solved. Problem is solved. We're ready to go again. I 
is it always raining? Uh, search area. This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway. No perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. Okay. 609 acknowledged. Caution advised. You're next to an airport. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Okay. Well, it's just me, so I have to apologize. It won't let, it won't let me move. There's a lot of lag between my phone and the, the screen. I found footprints. A bag. Some wire cutters. I'm tangled. I'm tangled. Wait a minute. Isn't that the isn't that the Man of Badan? What's her name? Help me. Help me. Shh. Help me okay, 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 okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I I, I blanked. I was in the bar. I I don't know. I woke up here. Oh god. Please help me. Please. What's happening? Uh, no, help victim. Okay, I'm gonna help her. This timer. Oh, crap. Oh, God! Oh, my God, get me out of there! Oh, Calm down, please. Oh, thank God we found the fucking wire cutters. Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Social worker was killed in a head and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Finn must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. Admiring. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was uh, just doing my job. And uh, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out.
calming okay, okay, professional let's up on the pissing contest all right let's at least try to pretend to work together the trapper case shook everyone up i think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night sergeant i think that about covers it is there anything else we can help you with um we'll be polite all right i've heard enough Thank you, everyone, for hearing me out. And thank you for eating up our entire afternoon with this shit. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that... Calvary's a dick? Yeah. Don't worry <laughs> about it. You were really helpful. Uh, friendly. You free tonight? Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a <laughs> huge stack of files at my apartment. Not going to be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. <laughs> A rat trap. Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door, and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Uh, be apologetic. Oh, I'm sorry, I... It's just... This was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them? LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years he looks before like the orphanage, like narcotics it. had a file on him a mile wide. That, uh, that picture of him get anything to definitely stick. makes him look like a douchebag. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, with rigged the light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't mm -hmm. satisfied. Okay, the puppies are going insane right now. I apologize for all the pauses that this video is going to end up having, but I need to check on them. Just trying to make it through a single recording, a singular recording. Third target, Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you a first responder in the botched attempt, mm -hmm. All from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen and the real target was the third precinct? Wonderful. Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. <laughs> you couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw.
resentful. Calvary's just got a stick up his ass. Why is that? Well, for starters, I'm the one who nabbed the trapper, not him. He can't stand it. Okay, he's had some time to get over that. Yeah, you'd think. But he keeps messing with me. How so? Just because I'm good at my job, I have a target on my back. I'm sure that's not true. Yeah, easy for you to say. My dad's not around to fight my battles for me. No one has it easy in this town. Okay. So this is kind of like an underhanded blow, but like, explain the blow to me because I don't get it. <laughs> this is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? And the police do 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 do. Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? Well, damn, how'd you wriggle that one? Hey, what's going on? We got a problem. What? It took a cop. What? What happened? Still trying to put that together. Call came in, there was a body. Responders showed up, body was rigged. Trapped the stuff. Who is it? Police. Who? How? It's cavalry. What? No, that doesn't ha That's ridiculous. It's still sorting through the mess. Becky. Oh my God. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. It's up with it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where I, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. The only blood here is his. And also Montesinos. How are you gonna, how are you gonna be that bad of a shot? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <sighs> Uh. Okay. You gonna. And bullet holes! Let me get the bullet holes! That's a whole clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front. Why would he miss? Oh, God. It's really him. So interesting about this painting. Nothing useful. I 
Rebecca, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? You relax. Tell the truth. I, uh, I spent the night, or uh, the evening, with Felicity Graves. Going over files. All night? Yeah. So? Shit. What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not accusing you. Oh, no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart. Looking out for you. Be confused. This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. Not usually a team. Why is it just the one? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. We're not even gonna look at the logbook. We're just going to go. This is going to be one long episode. Now, part two of Hidden Agenda. I usually don't think me, like me saying that she was confused about like what's going on. Like, I didn't like the man, but blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't think that's withholding how she felt about cavalry. Everybody knew how she felt about him. Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh, well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar, but he was one of us, and this atrocity cannot stand. Looks like he should have an eyebrow piercing. Curious. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? A call girl? We got an APB out, and, uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. I'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey. I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Anyone has a problem with that, you know where my office is. Detective Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. You're yeah, straight. sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How are you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks, no matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. So I've been going over it in my head. What? You needed an alibi for me at the crime scene. Do you really believe that I had something to do with this? Becky. I asked you a question. Will you let me through, please? Be concerned. I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? Fine. Here's honest. 
Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. Disappointed. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Rick's put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. Was I just... If I had been like, fuck, fuck, uh, fuck that guy, fuck Calvary, would, it, would this have gone differently? Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Uh, we'll start with Rupert. First. Back to the beginning. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm going to go see if she wants to be chatty. Yes, Miss Johnson. What do you want? Be respectful. I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Serious. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at two in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions for me. Maybe now I ain't got time for you. All right. You gonna tell me exactly what it is you want to know? Pathetic. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker and everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am. Have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. <laughs> The fuck is that following us? What are you doing here? Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, this is disorienting. God, why, why are the QTEs like this? Poor. <laughs> Where'd he go? White man, if I've ever seen a white man. Uh, this is 609 in pursuit of an unknown suspect. Average height, dark hoodie. Marnie, headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? Be relaxed. 
It looks like Adam Jones may have actually worked for The Undertaker. Wow. Far as I can tell, it seems to be after he supposedly died in that fire. That's... that's huge. So he's real. There's more. Someone was on my tail. What? Are you okay? Yeah. But they bolted the second I made him. I mean, it could have been nothing. It's not exactly the nicest part of town. Maybe. I'll see you at the house. Turn on. There we go. Struggling. Struggle busting today. Friend asked me if I wanted to go to go out to the lake with the, with him and his him his fiance and his kid today, and I was so excited for it. But then I, I haven't heard anything from him Give since, so I'm like not going sure now apparently. Anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Don't get any ideas. Good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? Uh, don't be a dick. Here. Thanks. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. Okay, hold on. It's obviously the tent. Oh god, it's starting. I thought I was gonna get a mimin. A, a, a mimin? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought I was gonna get a minute to look. I didn't even have my phone in my hand. <laughs> so you're saying that this is this is his, not some squatters? Squatters wouldn't dare. He couldn't have been that intimidating as a kid. What is all this? Adam's pop was a pest control man. You don't say. It's a pretty <laughs> good one, too. Traps. Of course. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop would get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in the ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off, right in front of Adam. Trapper's first target, he beat his wife too. The Undertaker. Another drunk. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. Actually, that's the American system. That's our justice system for you, right? Surprise. No good outcomes in a case like that. Surprised you couldn't see your kid, though. That's harsh. That's Judge Vanstone. You're kidding. Think I'd kid about the man who sentenced me to die? A couple of weeks in, Mama Jones hung herself in her cell. Christ. So, yeah, Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? 
You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there, Reminsky and that piece of shit orderly. And you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops, third precinct, and nobody did a goddamn thing, not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops, he knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed, parents failed, system failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. Honestly, assertive. If I've been hurt like Adam, yeah. I'd want them to pay. Yeah? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Call any time. There is something else. Yeah? The hostage. When you picked me up. Daniela Cardenas. Well, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. We went through the same shit. Izzy never got over it. OD'd a couple of years later. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Rominsky pay. Right. Son of a bitch. My God. The hostage was in on it. This is Officer 609. Four. We're gonna need an APB on a new suspect. Daniela Cardenas. I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Cardenas was not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co-conspirator. Center copy. I'm gonna call Simon Hillary. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to dig up the case. You're gonna be all right? Uh, confident. Go. Oh, we... Hey. Maybe that was too confident. You still think I'm making all this up? Less and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around... I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. <laughs> You're nuts. Look, he's never gonna show his face while I'm on a leash. But on my own, I can draw him out. Serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. And... No. But it could work. No. You're on death row. Did you forget that? For crimes I didn't commit. Did you forget that? Look, there's uh, something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, he'd reach out immediately. No, Is that's that so. You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. Kind of curious. I cannot believe you're actually proposing this. Yes, you can, because you know it's the only way to catch him. Look at me. I could take you out in a second. Police would buy it. We can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. This is Officer 732 receiving a request. Please stand by for confirmation. Puzzled. I'm How interested. Find him? I got strings I can pull. I can find him. You just gotta let me. Or is he dismissive? Hey! Hey! You're not going anywhere, cowboy! <laughs> oh! I almost didn't get that! I didn't have my phone in my hand, I almost didn't make that. <laughs> oh, I hate those. Just because he goes back doesn't mean we're going to stop looking, right? 
Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, 18 hours. Okay. We don't need Finn to do this. We're a goddamn great detective. We can do this. Um... If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas Orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. Yeah, but it seems pretty normal, Finn actually. told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Okay. Who is taking pictures of us? Oops. You probably want that. You're gonna have to lock it again. Okay, I know that of all the hidden, the all the supermassive games, this was apparently one of the up, up there as among the worst. I kind of, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm kind of enjoying the story so far. Like we're not getting a lot of like individual character building, but it's still pretty good. I'm not hating it. I'm hating, I'm hating this. I'm hating this. I'd have loved to have played this with the controller instead, but this isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, we're pictures. What are we looking at? So, picture. Okay. And then, whatever the fuck that says. Well, this is the only thing that looks like a hole in the wall. Rocks need no protection against the rain. What? Photo. And a loose panel. How can you tell that's loose? That was just the only thing that looked like a hole in the wall to me. Hmm, that's not concerning in a, in the uh, priest's office. <laughs> My leg. Harry Bond. It's a uh, corner. Oh, hello, ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Fits the pattern. Whoa. What are we looking at? What did I miss? I didn't see it. Show me. I don't know. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Anything at Los Palmas? Uh, friendly. Finn was telling the truth. I found Rominski's playroom. Interesting. Nothing fun about it. And it seems like the father had a thing for call girls. Same as Calvary. Plot thickens. All right, headed back. I 
going to have another super chase prepared. In my hand. Detective Marnie? On my way to see Simon Hillary. At his house? After hours? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Go easy on him, all right? He's pretty shook up from the fireworks this morning. It's just a few questions. It was it's only this morning? Why is it always raining? Like the morning. Seriously, he looks like he should Hello. have like facial sorry to you. They'd like without angular Please. his faces, they'd sue him. Come in. I can't believe how close I was to the I can't even say it yet. You got lucky. You're telling me. Just another split second and my god. My god. Uh be sympathetic. Don't dwell on it. You're alive, that's the important thing. Yes. Of course. Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the undertaker. Hooker, same thing, night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single the man in town singer? is John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I, I'm st still a little shaken. I would, too, if a ball yeah. went off in my face. Yeah. Right. Back in 2012, when we took down Finn, he had a hostage, Daniela Cardenas. I remember. Is she a... Uh, relevant? Uh, competent. Turns out she wasn't a hostage after all. Whole thing was a setup. I can't, I can't believe it. That's preposterous. Daniela's sister, Isabella, died a few years ago. Came through the city morgue. That one of yours? One of... Did you examine the body? I, um, I don't recall. I'm sorry. He's being a little too shifty. Look Something at the look so at the way shifty. his eyes are going back it's and forth like, like that. All these tidy little puzzle pieces, but the picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder. Maybe Finn's still a part of it, but but what if someone else is pulling the strings? I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Danielle is another puzzle piece. A small one, but important. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire. Worked for the Undertaker. Trapper's first Vic. The widow even identified him from a picture. I'm sorry. I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. I mean, knows something. That, that man? That man? Wherever he just went? He knows something. Not gonna lie, though, he's kind of big. Hello, Simon? Sorry, just a moment. I'll get that all cleaned up. Aaron, the QTEs, they're coming. I can feel it. I mean, that's a little far-fetched, but whatever. My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. Did you just hit your head with that fucking thing? Oh, my dog's eating, thank God. All right. I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother, really. Oh, 
I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, you probably knew them. Thank you for your time. He's too, he's too shifty. Seriously though, Simon's face is just so angular. He'd look really good with some facial piercings. Like the eyebrow piercing would probably be nice, but like, I don't know, I feel like he'd look okay, good with like a bridge awesome. or a septum. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie. Like, that lights turned to die. Was he following me at the widow's house? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging. So, I'm gonna. I have a lot of pre recording to do. I have Isabella a lot of Cardenas pre recording to do. Found on the side I'm gonna of the be road, gone for 10 days. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fill the time for video wise. Use. Medical examiner was Simon Hillary. He didn't mention this. Maybe he didn't know this was Daniela Cardenia's sister? I thought he told you that he wasn't sure if he did. Date of death is just before the trapper killings began. Of course it's on it. They're on a fucking Mac system. Oh, we're back at the cabin. Okay. What are we doing here? I just gotta double check to make sure I'm still recording because my microphone is blocking that part of OBS for me. 8.23 p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Can I have a closer look at the bedroom first? It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Well, we saw something drop earlier, so like we we know something's there. Uh, shells. So like we saw something drop this way. Obviously, it's probably going to be the fucking bed where he was shot, where he was killed, and then you can see the shells down there by the pillow. Oh, bloody mess. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Explosion was highly directional. If Simon did know about the bomb, it's possible he could have avoided serious injury. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. Now what is that? Son of a bitch. <sighs> gotcha. Okay, now this is just... Huh. Hey, now who's this? I 
No gloves? Oh my god. That's... That's from the Widows. Dollars to Donuts, that's the same hoodie I saw drying over Simon's washing machine. Shit. <clears throat> wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. Wait, how do we know that was Calvary? Is... That's for the camera there. Fuck are we hearing? It's gonna be key to these guys. I got it. I'm ready. Phone's ready. Make sure that recording that you do is goes straight to the cloud so that way they can um Who the fuck is this? That's a female. That's Felicity. I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will. Just could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. I was putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. Okay, if you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession dependent on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God, please. Please, Becky. Who is he? Who am I? Who? So you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this all because I didn't say fuck you, Calvary? I'm not having a good time. I'm gonna have to come back to this here in a bit because I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'll be back. I'm back again. Hello. We're 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 going. We're going. It's been a day. <laughs> Currently fi finishing this okay, six hours that's later. The end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. The dog just tripped. Of hidden agenda. This is apparently the last part. I apologize if you can hear my siblings being little bitches out there. You still think it's me? Like, I have to be honest, but it does kind of look like you, and that's not going to help your case. Uh, reassuring. If that was me on the footage, then why would I show it to you? I mean, why wouldn't I just kill you back at the cabin? You kind of almost did. Touche. The guy on the <laughs> video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them, and he sets up the trap? Uh, the thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom, and the hoodie guy comes out. I did some digging on Simon Hillary. What do you mean? I kind of took a peek at his personnel file. Took a what? Then I found his high school yearbook online. Becky, are you sure that's a good idea right now? Um... Eh... Fine. Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs. What'd you find? I found Simon Hillary. So? That's Simon Hillary. Wait, are, are you saying our Simon is not the Simon? What if he stole this guy's identity? But how? The timeline fits. They'd be about the same age. And look, you can see a resemblance. Adam supposedly died in the fire. Then pretty soon after, Simon Hillary starts his training. He's been following me since the briefing. Simon? Or Adam, I guess? Yeah. 
He knew I'd be looking into old cases, and that, with enough digging, they'd lead me right to him. Damn it. I'm not sure if there's enough here yet for a warrant. I know, but I can get this guy. We can get this guy. With your help. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just lay it all out first. Thanks. When Calvary was trust. investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes, <laughs> the first target, the undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. Yeah. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. If it is, Simon, maybe he's using a hooker to lure his targets into a premeditated murder site. Or maybe there's just... Maybe there's like something we're missing. missing. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone is out to get me. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. Paranoid. No one's ever safe in this town. Maybe Simon's working with Daniela Cardenas. Yeah, she That's could right have been there. a hooker Go with Calvary. It. Well, I guess it's possible. And they're trying to track her down, so maybe we'll be able to ask her. Simon knew Jonathan Finn started talking, and, and then he killed Calvary because he knew everyone would immediately suspect me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Throw them off. Somebody in the world is walking in and disrupting my recording. I guess that's family for you. Oh, right off the scent. Oh, Christ. He's been right in front of our face this whole time. What? Felicity, what? Well, a search warrant for Simon's house is out of the question. But there is another way. Like, he knows you, so you could call him up for a drink, and while he's out here and you've got your eyes on him... Seriously? You want to break into his house? Well, <laughs> Felicity, that's illegal. But we'd know for sure. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck it, let's get him. Okay, great. Temple Bar. Ten minutes? Perfect. I'll be here. Gotta be honest, though, Simon's kind of cute. Go fish. <laughs> My phone's dead. Why don't you have a jacket? Why is your car unlocked? I don't trust that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck him up. I missed it. Fuck. I'm sorry. Were we just what? Were we just one shot KO? One shot KO. Because I missed one. Also, that didn't sound like a female. That sounded like a man. Is that one? Let's be racing to Simon's residence. What would have happened if I had gone away? This game doesn't have chapters for me to fucking choose from. If I want to figure out what would have happened, I'd have to go all the way back to the beginning. Investigate. That sounds like a TV.
God, there's only one thing sweeter than money, baby. Revenge. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I have no idea what we're looking at. Shit. Time to go. What do you mean time to go? You haven't looked at anything. You just walked upstairs and saw that the TV was on. There's like this aura, the, the odd, awkward silence going on right now. Who, who knocks like that? <laughs> what is with this camera angle either? What? What? I am Confucian. Oh, were we looking at like a floor plan for like Simon's place? Is that what was on the table? Did he like just buy this? That's not creepy at all. Uh, okay. Um, mannequin trap pictures. Uh, mannequin. Hate the mannequin. You get? Will you let me trap picture picture? Picture? That wasn't the picture I thought it was gonna trying to trying to get me to go to. Simon is revealed as the trap. Simon is the trapper. None of this is admissible in court, though, because she she, she broke in. Okay, great. Temple Bar. Ten minutes? Perfect. I'll be here. See you soon, Simon. Oh, cookies. Shit, he's home. Hide. If we flee, we flee right into him. If we had fleed, we would have fleed right into him. Eight hours until things execution. Again, yeah. Resisting arrest? Uh oh. Somebody's in a bit of trouble. Suck my nuts. And hello. Ben's come clean. We know you want a real hostage back in 2012. Daniela, you've made some mistakes. But you were a victim. And your sister? I'm sorry about what you both went through. The system failed you. I made you angry, right? You wanted to make him pay. Is that what Adam Jones said he would do? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. And it makes you a co-conspirator. Doesn't look good for you, but if you help us, we can help you. Sure. He's the one who set it up. 
He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me and is he, but I have no clue where he is now. You haven't seen him at all since the arrest? I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. Can always tell from his creep-ass eyes. <laughs> Even all cleaned up. Cleaned up how? I don't know, he's like... a cop doctor or something. Detective Nelson, I need to speak with you. We're right in the middle of this. Now. Don't oh, go anywhere. Doctor? Hmm. Simon? There's been an abduction. Judge Van Stone. Witness says it was Becky Marnie who took over. Who's the witness? Who said that? The, the waitress from the bar? Those? Daniela Cardenas identifies the trapper. Oh god, that's the stripper outfit. I'm sorry, oh. is that inside oh. of him? Oh my god. Oh god. What, what, what did she do to me? What did she put inside of me, god damn it? Um. Confused. She? What? Was what who? Who's she? Was a. A woman, a goddamn whore. What has she done? How's your head, Detective Marnie? I'm coming for you. They know you did it. They know you killed everyone. We didn't. There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. doing this tell me why how did you fucked with me enough oh, please take the money so vain i don't give a goddamn about you sorry if you will notice there is a small heartbeat tracker on judge vanstone's wrist no i didn't notice it that actually synchronized to a cell phone that i have surgically implanted into his stomach well the phone is just the timer Beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Any number. For anyone in, say, uh, a 100 foot radius skipper tank, which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? No. I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. I don't like they called my balloon. To level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop his heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. I can be whatever I want. <laughs> It shouldn't have been as funny as it was. Oh god, how do we stop this? So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? We're gonna figure this out, Mr. Vanstone. Stay. Stay. We're figuring this out. What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? We need you to chill, though. Take it down a notch. I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. Shit. Shit. Oh, 
no, nope, no, not doing that. Please, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. This fishnets look great on her. I need you to stay calm, okay? Stay very, very calm. What? Do you understand? Why? What's happening? Oh, God. Pinnacle. Why in God's sake? Please, 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 just stay, stay calm, stay calm. I, I, I'm not sure I could stay calm in this situation. <laughs> shoot. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? Minute. Plenty of time. Right now, we have plenty of time. Okay, so let's, let's keep it that way. A minute's a lot. It's just a lot of time. And we can figure this out. So, if you take this phone out of me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me! Chill. Chill. Oh, this seems like a terrible idea, but let's do it. <laughs> ah, no! Please! Ah, I can't take it! And we just started. Ah, oh, we got it out, though. He's gonna pass out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Okay. He he passed out or is he dead? Contacts. Call partner. Tom Nelson. Jesus, Becky, where are you? Oh, God. Tom. We got a tip that you kidnapped Judge Vanstone. Said you were hiding out at the Elliott Hotel. We are outside right now. It's a frame job. I'm at the hotel, but... But I think someone spiked my drink. Vanstone was all rigged up when I came to. Oh, God, just stay put. We're coming in. No, 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 I can't. Felicity, she's at Simon's house. She needs my help. Oh, God, y yeah, okay. I know about Simon. I'll hold back SWAT team as long as I can. He's Go gonna help? Felicity, now! I don't think I've loved Tom more than I have in this moment. Just for helping our two lesbians. But also, how do we save Felicity? Now be quiet. Pay attention. Oh god, I should really be holding my phone. Oh, those st stairs like that always creak, though. I'd be paranoid about the back seat. What would have happened if I had missed that QTE? Seven hours until Finn's execution. Ah, faster, Marnie.
Destructive. Becky, leave the hotel. Right now. I'll pick you up and take you to the sergeant. You can tell him what happened. We can just call... No, meet me at the, uh, service road. Exit 12 off 675. Okay? Why? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Hold up! Holy. You're cutting it close there, Tom. Focus. The lights are gonna kill me. Lights are kicking my ass. Too scared to move. Maybe this is why I don't do longer recordings because I'm fighting with the lights all the time. Rat in the trap. Felicity tricks the killer into an ambush. Is that what we did? I don't think that's what we did. Hey, what's this all about? Simon kept his phone. Oh, shit. If he was listening, he should be on his way here. What? It's okay, I called the police too. They're on their way. Oh, boy. Good evening, ladies. I'm very impressed by detective work, but I'm afraid that this little adventure here has taken its course. Uh... Sympathetic. We know who you are, Hannah. We know what they did to you. We know... I do all this just to get them killed no, here at the end. I'm in a riot. Really? I've been following you, Detective Marnie. And I know you don't have a shred of evidence to back up your ridiculous claims. Don't be so sure. Ridiculous. Oh, right. Step, what's on your phone? Hand it over. I knew you could hear us, Simon. Thanks for taking the bait. I didn't even You're think about that when I said instructive. It's over. But somebody was thinking about that because I definitely wasn't. Suppose it is. But I got what I wanted, and you cannot take that away from me. Everyone who hurt us is dead. Everyone at the orphanage. Everyone at the third precinct. Even the goddamn judge is dead. The judge is not dead. Case. Uh, we'll be sympathetic. Don't tell him about the judge. You Let him believe. You got them all. It's over. No one else needs to get hurt. It's time to turn yourself in. Yeah, don't tell him about the judge. Let him believe. Let, let that poor man believe. I do sympathize. Oh yeah, she doesn't have, <laughs> like, handcuffs or anything. Trapper is arrested. Gun chai? We didn't use a weapon once? Fuck yeah. Becky was- I'm in deserve Earlier better. today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back with his family recovering. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, has been arrested. According to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force, Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings, previously attributed to Jonathan Finn. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. Uh, anonymous source? Who's this anonymous source in the police force? Somebody's losing their job. All of us on the force are very grateful to Detective Marnie. Thanks to her tireless efforts, the trapper has finally been brought to justice. He never suspected Simon Hillary. He fooled us all. Well, not all of us. Not my partner. Okay, so he's from 
House of Ashes. I'm part of that Charlie Lonnet. She should get a goddamn medal as far as I'm concerned. Also, that's Charlie Lonnet. I already told you everything I know. That's, um... Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to she's happen. She's from... None of she's Clarice. House of Ashes. Do you understand? And, you know, in... You Little Hope. Daniel from Little Hope. He's also in Man of Medan. I think he plays... He plays a guy in House of Ashes as well. I don't remember. Miss Graves. Pretty sure she is the Chinese lady at the beginning of Man of Medan. I was looking for the truth. Police warned. Someone had to do what was right. Anything else you want to add about I don't know if she's in anything else. My only regret is that I didn't mail that son of a bitch five years ago. So tell us, Mr. Jones, why did you do it? Also, the interviewer talking is, uh, the dude that was Mr. Mister Dumet from The Devil in Me, the one with with his daughter. I don't remember his actual name, but he was, he was playing the character of Mr. Dumet first. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to, we're going to let these finish out and then do our closing final thoughts on this. This is. This was something. This was something. Great, I can skip now. It's broken. Okay. So, with that being said, get out of here. Skadoosh. Alright. So, that was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. I enjoyed that way more than I thought I was going to. Little upset that there's no, I can't go back to chapters. I have to replay the entire game because y'all know I'm gonna be trophy hunting off camera. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was actually that was surprisingly good. I really don't like having to use my phone. Most of that just has to do with the fucking lag. The like going for when we're choosing the when we're trying to get the uh, the clues, having to swipe there it gives like three or four seconds and you have to swipe to the next one and then the next one yeah no that was there was a lot of lag in that and it kind of sucked the qtes also really sucked i um there's a little bit of lag from my phone to the to my to the playstation which was unfortunate <laughs> but overall i actually really enjoyed the story i enjoyed most of the character development um their character overall is probably simon I get it. I do. Top tier. But, uh, yeah, no, overall, I have... This was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I had very low expectations for this. I watched... I think I watched Jack play it when he when it originally came out. And he wasn't very impressed. To be fair, neither was I. And based off those, like, previous, like, conceptions of what I thought about this game, I was not... I did not have very high hopes. But playing it for myself, I really did enjoy that more than I thought I was going to. So, you know, it is what it is. But that being said, I would really recommend giving it a try for yourself because obviously other people's opinions differ from your own. I agreed with Jack originally saying that I wasn't impressed. I'm actually very impressed now that I've played it myself. But that being said, I'm going to call this one here. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this, please let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.